Supreme Upholstery Limited is a manufacturer of quality bespoke upholstered furniture. Come along with your ideas for that perfect sofa to fit your home and let Supreme bring your ideas to fruition. We also offer a service to the contract market, including large hotel groups and small family run business. No matter how large or how small your order, you will always get that personal service from our sales team. Come along and visit our showroom. Euro Gold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Euro Gold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Give Frank a call on 01925 243 363. Mulligan's Funeral and Monumental Services are a family-owned funeral service, first established by the late Brian Mulligan in 1996. We provide funeral homes in Gorton, Manchester and Reddish, Stockport, and we pride ourselves on giving a friendly and professional service to all the families who use our service. Contact us on 0161 432 0809. Good evening to you all and welcome to the show. Our show last week was broadcast from the Great National Hotel in Ballina in County Mayo. We were there with the Jerry Flynn events celebrating 300 years of the town of Ballina. Jerry and his team brought over 250 people from all around the UK for a week's holiday and great entertainment and visiting local attractions. Now on this week's show, we are going to continue on to show you some of the highlights from that great week's entertainment and celebration. Now tell us about the week. I know that you've taken your guests on different uh, places around uh, around Ballina and around Mayo. I mean, there's such a lot to see in this particular area. And um, actually, it conflicts with the music and the dancing, but we did manage to get some of them out to uh, the Foxford Roller Mills. Uh, some of them went to Knock. Uh, others went on a tour of the North Mayo coast. And uh, we took some to the local distillery as well so that they could taste some local whiskies for a change. <laughs> A lot of local people as well has come in here every night to join in the dancing, the music. Oh and yes, the it's been the, it's been the same uh, for the last 15 or 16 years. Uh, we call this event the Welcome Home Festival, and it's um, mainly supported by people who are domiciled in the UK, and they come and stay for the week. And almost all of them, uh, except for their English friends who travel with them, 
uh, almost all of them have a family connection with this North Mayo Sligo area. So it's a nice opportunity, especially for the older people like myself, because uh, family ties are, are now a lot less than they used to be for natural reasons, you know. So um, having an opportunity to come with their friends and share the enjoyment of a week and have a, a kind of a fulfilling type of holiday experience at the same time is a, a, a quite a, a nice way to spend a few days together, yeah. You can see the We've introduced uh, some new artists this year to our customers and uh, they seem to have gone down particularly well so we'll be renewing our acquaintances with them over the next year or two. Of course, you've been performing at Jerry's events for quite a while now. We have, Martin. About uh, 25 years we're, we're with him. <laughs> we, we, we got uh, involved with him on his very first trip to a place called Loretta Mar, when we travelled from Ireland on a bus all the way over to Spain, up through France, and uh, it took us 32 hours to go and 28 hours or something to go back home. <laughs> There was one lady actually flew home the minute she arrived. She said there's no way she was going to be <laughs> going to be going back on that bus. You needed a holiday when you got back. We needed a holiday when we got back, and God, we had we had uh, 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 we had a great Seamus Shannon with us at that time. That was the first time we ever met him, and uh, we had the uh, Lord Mercy and Michael Sexton, Kelly senior. Band, yeah. senior, yeah, yeah, senior, yeah, yeah. playing with us. Uh, it was an, uh, we, we, we were ferried out to a farm for our first Cayley, would you believe that, out in the middle of nowhere. Um, and they danced more or less on cobblestones <laughs> and ferried back to the hotel again. So things have changed an awful lot in, in that length of time they have, yeah. Sean, you've been with Jerry quite a long time as well. A similar amount of time. Joined in along with Mick around that time and uh, formed a little group and we get on together and play together. And, you meet lovely people on these trips, you know, nice people that have the same interest as yourself. We have a sessions bar on every event because, believe it or not, the sessions are the heartbeat of the event and everybody wanders in and out of the sessions that will during the course of the evening and they may be set dancers at heart, but they'll spend some time at the sessions, and then they'll go into the social dancing as well. So there's always at least three areas uh, for entertainment uh, during every day and evening. You like a lot of audience participation. Yeah, it's, it's what the session is about, really. It's not all about us. It's a, a group of people that join in, and uh, you could see them sitting around playing the various instruments, whistles and boxes and bowerons and singing and everything else. So that's what makes, that's what the session is really about. Yeah. And people love performing, don't they? Especially with you guys, because you're backing them with the music, and I saw various ones getting up to sing last night. Yes. Yeah, you meet some great singers and people that wouldn't normally sing just get an urge to sing a song or do something and they can do it. Massive crowd, Martin. It was, it was electric last night, and um, we didn't really expect it because with uh, Michelle playing, Michelle Murphy playing here in the hall with Dermot yeah. and Johnny Reedy with the Cayley, 
for some reason or other, the, the crowd just seemed to click last night with us. But we, we always have a good crowd and there's always a good atmosphere. Um, because the crowd get involved, completely involved in it, you know, they, they buy into what we do, you know. For want of a better way of putting it, that would be a kind of a modern terminology, so they buy into it. But they do, they really get involved. But you were asking Sean there about people coming up and dance and singing, doing their party pieces. I feel personally that those people, that's their Carnegie Hall. Do you know what I mean? They're people that might never get up to sing a song or, or tell a story or whatever, you know. And they get the chance to do it with us because as far as we're concerned, everybody is equal. There's no good singers or no bad singers or good musicians or bad musicians because we, we treat them all or we feel that they're all equal. You're finishing up tonight, lads, and you're back, back uh, of course, with Jerry um, this weekend. But uh, what's lined up for you next? Well, with Jerry uh, Gorey, I think is the next one we go to. Uh, that's uh, that's in November. We have a we have a summer a summer and a half off there. <laughs> so after you've uh, earned it. We, we, well, yeah. after last night, I think we did with the <laughs> atmosphere that was there. Yeah, Gorey is next. We well, I'm retired thing, and uh, I do a bit of work with Alzheimer's and right. things like that. You know, and uh, we just tip away. I don't gig that much at home anymore. Yeah. I'm getting too old for the pulling and dragging. <laughs> ah, you're but right. um, yeah, mm. so we look forward to Gory now uh, in, in November and take off from there again another, another, another week. This was a seven night uh, event, or a yeah, seven day event, which was uh, two days longer than we'd normally do on yeah. these events, you know. Yeah. It's, different. it's different in Spain and, and Portugal where we go, we do the ten days. But the home ones are usually five days, but this was seven, and I think everybody is getting a little bit tired now at this stage. I was getting to wilt. <laughs> I, I was going to say, you're in for a busy night tonight, oh, though, to wind it all up. Oh, yeah, that'll be all, uh, all systems go tonight. I'll say. There'll be no songs left unsung, I'd say, at the end of the week. I could have lots of I can understand how you've got into the entertainment business because you're always interested in entertaining people. I was, well, in fact, um, Paddy, uh, Paddy Jordan and I uh, started working together uh, in the Carousel Club in Manchester back, oh gosh, well, it was 50 years ago now, you know? And um, we've been sort of mucking in together ever since, you know? So yeah, we've had a, 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 a long, happy, Music, mu musically filled relationship, you know, for the last 50 years or more. When you visit Ireland, it doesn't matter what the weather is like, you will always have a fantastic time and the hospitality is second to none. We're going to take a little break and we'll be back with you in two minutes. Supreme Upholstery Limited is a manufacturer of quality bespoke upholstered furniture. Come along with your ideas for that perfect sofa to fit your home and let Supreme bring your ideas to fruition. We also offer a service to the contract market, including large hotel groups and small family-run business. Music 
no matter how large or how small your order, you will always get that personal service from our sales team. Come along and visit our showroom. Euro Gold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Euro Gold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. La Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Give Frank a call on 01925 243 363. Mulligan's Funeral and Monumental Services are a family-owned funeral service first established by the late Brian Mulligan in 1996. We provide funeral homes in Gorton, Manchester and Reddish, Stockport and we pride ourselves on giving a friendly and professional service to all the families who use our service. Contact us on 0161 432 0809. Welcome back. We are here at the Great National Hotel in Ballinan, County Mayo, with the Jerry Flynn events celebrating 300 years of the town of Ballinan. Now let's continue on with the entertainment. So many people have come to your events. Some of them have come for 20 years, some of them have come for 30 years, oh, and you've got people here as well that's been 15 years. Oh, yeah. And also, uh, lots of people have said to me, it's like a reunion, a family reunion, because they come back each time and they meet people that they haven't seen for six or 12 months before. That's a fact, And it's yeah. like it's a great reunion as well. Absolutely, yeah. Well, I'll give you just a short story uh, on that. Um, Several years ago, I was stood having a drink with uh, a customer at the bar in one of the hotels in Spain. And uh, he said, um, this is the best event you've ever run. And I said, well, thank you very much, but I, I don't know why this is the best, because we put the same amount of effort into all of them. Yeah. And then he gave me the answer, and it was perfect. And he said, well, he said, when I came here five years ago, I didn't know anybody, now I know everybody. And that's the key to it, it they all know each other. And the, uh, a lot of them have been traveling since the early 90s, you know? Uh, so th they've grown old together. When we first took this group away, uh, they were all in their 30s and 40s. And now they're bringing their zipper frames. <laughs> yeah. And their grandchildren. And their grandchildren, yeah, yeah. So, that's a very nice part about it. And when they get together, there's a, there's a nice buzz about the group all the time because they're meeting their old friends, you know, which is lovely. Tell me, how long have you and John been coming to the Jerry Flynn event? Well, at least 15 years, maybe a bit more. And we've been all over to Ibiza and Portugal and Torremolinas and the local ones and Enniscrown. Can't be stopped, we love them. Why do you keep coming back? Oh, we just love them. 
absolutely. I get so much out of them. Uh, it, it just makes me day. I get up and sing and do different bit of poetry and that. I just love them. And of course, I'm sure that you've made lots of friends over the year as well. Oh, absolutely. And it's like coming home when you see all the faces you know from all the times we've been. It's just lovely. I believe that you're a great writer of poetry, but tell us, how, how did you get into that? Well, it sort of started really when I started going to these events. I used to do a little bit before that, but not like I'm doing now. And I was on the trip home from Portugal, was one of my first trips, and it started on the plane coming home. So from then on, every time I go, I like to have something new to do if I can. This little verse is called Jerry Flynn Events. It's great to be in Ballina to celebrate their 300 years anniversary of becoming a town. The President of America, Joe Biden, has been visiting the home of his ancestors, of which he's very proud. I can't compare with the President. There won't be as much excitement for me. But when I'm with Jerry Flynn events, I'm at the top of the tree. All the years that I've been coming, one better than the next. I hope I don't run out of steam this side of 96. Anyone who hasn't been just doesn't know the score. It's all that you could ask for and leaves you wanting more. So keep on singing and dancing. No time to rest your feet. And I'm sure you'll all have a wonderful week. Thank you. <laughs>Will you be writing a bit of poetry about this visit to me or on your, on your next Jerry Flynn visit? Quite possibly, quite possibly, <laughs> yes. You're an awful lady, but you're married to a Mayo man. And have you enjoyed your week here in Mayo? Oh, absolutely. Every minute of it, yeah. I just love it. I love to be in the company and uh, doing what I do, you know. So it's, it's marvellous. And we saw you out there last night. You were fairly hitting the floor last <laughs> night. There were sparks coming off it. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we like a dance and, and uh, we've, we, sorry we don't go abroad anymore because it's a little much for us, but we'll do all the local ones that we can. Fred, tell me a little bit how you got involved with Jerry Flynn event. I got a phone call uh, from Head Judge of Borum in Scotland, who'd been with the head judge of England on the competition, and their wives had been talking and they'd seen me dancing, and Jerry's granddaughter went to a ballet school with somebody who knew them, so that was the connection of, I'd been dancing in Newry, and then they met in Blackpool and said, we need a teacher, can you come out? So literally in two days notice, I was asked to come out for two weeks to Portugal. Um, and I said, OK, yes, give me two days to get packed and ready. And, and I came out to Portugal and the rest was history. And how long is that ago? That's 17 years ago. Of course, you teach social dancing. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, originally, I came more from a ballroom and salsa background. And then, like, I'd never seen Irish country jive till I went to Jerry's event. And then Jerry goes like, oh, yeah, you need to teach that. I was like, OK, <laughs> I'll figure that out. But yes, obviously, ballroom and everything, that is what I've done all my life. So. Um, that was the easy part and, and I, I learned along the way um, and the people who come on Jerry's holidays are absolutely amazing. It's just so lovely. I've made lifelong friends, like people who were in my class in Ibiza and Torx in Portugal 17 years ago would still show up in my class today. They must enjoy it. Well, they must be, but they keep coming back. And it's nice to meet the new people coming to Begirin's class. And we've had a lot of musicians coming in as well who sort of wanted to learn to dance, not just to play for the people. And on the left, ladies and right, and step, 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 block, step, 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 block. Tell me a little bit about yourself, where you come from. Um, I am Estonian. I'm from Tallinn in Estonia. I grew up in Soviet Union, not knowing anything about the Western world. We were pretty sort of put in and, and keep the lid was on so we couldn't get out and I never in my world uh, imagined that I would actually be traveling the world which Jerry has given me an amazing opportunity to see like everything with the South China Seas, we've been to America, all around Europe. So growing up in Soviet Union that was a no-no, you could travel around Russia but that was it. I live in Northern Ireland so uh, July is not the greatest month to be in Belfast so I, I always go home in July yes to see my 
uh, mum and my siblings. And Mick, you sang a lovely song as a tribute to a great friend of yours, of course, that sadly passed away last week. Oh God, poor, poor John, John Sexton. Yeah, John was on his way here, actually here to the event on last Sunday. Uh, he went to Mass Saturday night so as he could travel down here on Sunday. Went home from Mass, he was a little bit sick and died. We got word here on Sunday morning that he was after passing away. Um, and I felt that John, you see, was very involved with us and he was very involved with the priest. He looked after the priest on the trips and all. He was a really special person. And um, I felt that it would be only fitting if we did some kind of a tribute to him. So there's a very appropriate song that um, Vince Gill wrote for, about his brother. Uh, it's called Go, Go Rest High on That Mountain. So I thought it was appropriate to do that song for John. Sun year work on earth is done and go to heaven shall be for the father and son. John was so special to us all, you know, and, and as John Sixton and it's unfortunately that's life, isn't it? But it's a grand way to go with it. That he, from his point of view, we met all the family. Jerry brought us down to the, the funeral in Milton Malbe yesterday, and um, we met all the family. And while well, it's tough on the family for something like that to happen, it's a lovely way to go with it, just to, 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 to be happy in what you're doing, and then just the lights go out, you know? So. Yeah. Mick and uh, Jerry and about four or five of them went to represent the group, I suppose. Uh, you know, to sympathise with John's family and that. May he rest in peace. Absolutely, yeah. In peace, yeah. yeah. Lovely Love man. If people would like to go with you to Spain or Portugal or Wexford or wherever you want to go, how can they find out a bit more about it? Just to call the office in, in, in Lancashire. We're based in Blackburn, uh, where I've been ever since I left Ballina. And um, we have a, a website and uh, we're there every every day, more or less, unless we're away working like this. But we're even contactable because uh, when we move away from the office, our phones automatically transfer to our mobiles. So we're still in touch with people. Well, we hope you've all enjoyed our shows from Ballina and County Mayo. And the next time the Jerry Flynn events are in Ireland is in November, when they're arranging a week's holiday in Wexford. And if you'd like to go on that trip, get your tickets booked now. We'll be back with you next week with the Irish in the UK at 7.30. Until then, thank you for watching and take good care.